Podcast, another episode of Game Changer today on hey, Tuesday. What? It's June 3rd. Is it? I got the date right. Didn't this I? is going to be oh. your thing. I just <clears throat> know it's going to be your thing. So it is Tuesday, June 3rd, 2014. We're here at Game Changer. The week actually was E3. This is for next week, right? Yeah. So E3 was. Yeah, no, no. E3 is next week. You know what? We shoot these things a week in advance, and it's kind of hard to keep this <laughs> in order for us. WWDC right now, is this week. There we go. WWDC E3 is was yesterday. Week. E3 is next. Yeah. Now, don't forget, we are going to be running a, a E3 live blog. So we are. I'm going to be watching it. We may not well, be streaming the actual thing. We hope thing, we are. Well, we hope we are. Yeah, <laughs> we had some, uh, some live stream difficulties this evening. We were going to live stream the taping of the show. It didn't actually. work out very well. No, live stream's down. Yeah. Thank God we uh, paid for a... Rather expensive piece of equipment that we can't yeah, use. Let's let's just go on. Either way, <clears throat> so we do have some interesting information for you guys this week. The biggest thing I want to talk about is Watch Dogs. That's the what's been everybody's. And it's tongue. amazing. Oh, apparently, yeah. Well, you know, I'd love to give you a full review on it, and I'd love to get it up for Game Changer, but unfortunately, I am here doing work tonight and not at home playing the game. Oh, and I couldn't play it on Tuesday when it came out because we had to go see a movie. We'll talk about on Thursday, oh, and I couldn't play it last night. Because I had to go to the gym and work out. So, well, here's the downside. Uplay was broken the entire first day for the most part. And people who had pre ordered the game through Ubisoft and okay. people who had done it through EA's Origin system couldn't exactly activate their codes and or get into the game and or download it and or anything for a good chunk of people, including Steam even had problems with this. So I'll remember that the next time you PC Master Race can't play it, even though my console did. Yeah, yeah. You know he's he's <clears throat> he's talking about me. That's right. I mean, well, you, let's hey, just, let's hey, just you know, you know what? All the steps that I had to do to play Watch Dogs on that day, I took the disc out of the cart and I put it in, and I oh Xbox installed it. Oh look, I'm playing a game. Well, My Uplay worked perfectly. Fine. I didn't. I didn't play Watch Dogs. Now, I didn't waste 60 bucks. The downside is that from what I've played, which is only about four hours, the story is great. Everybody tells you that Aiden Pierce is a very cardboard cutout copy. The guy is, his. No, no surprise to you people out there, and if this is a spoiler alert, then you don't know anything about the game. The guy is basically uh, Frank Castle, the Punisher meets hackers. And it's like hacker wizardry, because literally you press X to hack something. You line up, you press the button, it hacks it. You're done. And it's it's really cool, but he is very gruff, and he doesn't have much of a personality. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about this. In my opinion, I think that's a good area to set up to make an entire franchise. If you remember, the first Assassin's Creed had all these complaints. It's repetitive. The open world's kind of boring. I don't really like the character. <laughs> Man, they talk a lot. This is Why awesome. is this like a movie? Man, I'm out of Cheetos. The thing, just the list goes on Where's and on. Where's the Cheetos? <laughs> And the point being is that these are all the same complaints you guys made back in 2006, 2007 when Assassin's Creed came out. And yeah. then you loved 2, 3, well, nobody loved 3, but 2, 2.5, 2.75, and 4. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. So I'm just saying, you guys can't yeah. just put it all together. You got to start <clears throat> somewhere, and sometimes you get a little True. bit of a rough start yeah. coming off the bat. I'm going to continue to play Watch Dogs. We will do a full review of it on game. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. What is our new show called that I forgot? Game on. Game on. And uh, that'll be coming for you hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Now, as we roll up to the date of E3, we're going to have little bits of teasers coming out. The biggest one is Battlefield. And it's called Battlefield Hardline. Battlefield Hardline is basically Battlefield meets The Shield. If you're not familiar, I like to call it cop drama. And the new Battlefield is legitimately nice. cops versus robbers. All the mm. multiplayer All game right. modes they showed off, there's a racing where I'm you're in cars that. shooting each other right. mode. There's a bank heist mode, which kind of, I would just, feels like I'd rather play Payday, which is a, Payday 2, which is a much better bank robber game, and it's a very realistic simulator. Um, um, <clears throat> and pretty much everything deals with capture the flag is where you capture drug money, and you try and take yeah. it to points, and yeah. uh, personally, I don't think this is going to sell well, and even if EA wasn't pushing this one out the door, I don't even think it's done by the official Battlefield uh development team so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and call a call of duty ghosts on this and it's probably not gonna be super super hot so you might want to wait until the next round for that but who knows they may show it off at ea and i could be you know eat my own words by next week or they e3 not ea i could be eating my own words i was um, gonna say if they're showing off at ea you're not eating it well this is this yeah. is something that you're gonna <clears throat> love actually Ooh. 
Uh, pirates have a love-hate relationship with Wolfenstein the New Order. Mm. The reason that they have a love-hate relationship is because apparently they enjoy the game a lot, but they didn't enjoy the fact that the file size to download the game is 46.9 gigs. People were complaining, I have to uninstall like 10 games to play this. (laughs) As a pirate, do you see my face right now? Uh I have no bad feelings for you. Some of us don't steal our games. If it's a game I want to play and I don't think I like it, I go rent it. Now, that is something you can do on console that you, can, you yeah. can't do on PC. But if I know somebody yeah, bought I, it... I wish Steam would start <clears> doing that. That's know? what I'm going to say. Steam won't do rental games, but if I know somebody who bought it, chances are they were in the beta. And if you're in the beta for it right now, they're doing the game sharing program. Which is awesome, by the way. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm so glad they started <clears> doing that. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, I guarantee you have somebody out there who went out and bought it. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. got the rich friend. Yeah. So, just borrow it from them. See if you like it. Justify the $60. Yeah. And if you yeah. can't afford it, wait for it to go on sale, jerks. Yeah, because it always does. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, that's going to be painful. So, the last thing I really got for Game Changer is that NVIDIA has come out with a redonkulous new card again. Uh, I saw this. It's uh, it's like 12, 12, 12 gigs of uh, 6 right. uh, so megs a second. So you need three of them, right, in, in, in a tree SLI. Well, the card starts by itself. Because when Crisis 4 launches next year... <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the Titan XT Black yeah, edition yeah, or yeah, something like that. The card stupid. starts at twenty nine ninety five. You can only buy it, as far as I know, in pre-built machines at the moment. Yeah. Uh, through like MSI well, and, yeah, and EVGA. And EVGA usually licenses those pretty early. They so. really, really do. And I and love if, EVGA. And They're if you need this team. card... Why? What do you need to put... Because the, the rate... I will, I will tell you. If you don't say supercomputing, then the answer is wrong. If you're, it, um, have you ever seen some of the crazy? And I don't mean gaming rigs like you're thinking gaming rigs, but these these guys that do flight simulation, yes, where they'll do like that is triple justifi- triple projectors, triple projectors, and they can you know, and if and they've racing, got two of these or racing games too. But yeah, what I always see is I see the the two projectors they're one on the side and then right one and here. they're overlaps. It's a seamless like it is. curved wall. And I I would say that you would want two of these because yeah. then you're running at 4K resolution. Right. Oh, wow. That is just nuts. But seriously, it's the craziest yeah. card out there. Yeah. You should go take a look at it. Kotaku did a report on it. It makes me, um, it makes me and my Technica. twin 660 Ti's just feel very insignificant. It, well, I mean, yeah, it should. I mean, yeah. we're it's got 12 gigs of GDDR5 on there. Yeah. And well, it's you know, pumping. I've got 8 it's, gigs between my three cards. Yeah, but this is one card. That's the thing. Because <laughs> you have you have two uh, 660's and six then you have another a 550. I've got a 5, 560 Ti. There are 560 yeah. that's there so for, three, three for just two. physics, right? Yeah, for, yeah. physics. Dedicated. Yep. And I mean that's that's really all I got for this week on Game Changer. Didn't you say that you had something I, I, I for me? I wanted to talk two things actually. Mario Kart, oh. is, Mario Kart Eight is coming out. Actually released early in certain areas of the world today. Thanks GameStop. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. And it has a download content. It does have a download made content. Made me kind of giggle a little bit. I think everybody's been getting a kick of this on the internet so, for the last couple of days. There's a Merc in in Mario Kart. That is correct. There uh, is there's a Mercedes, Mercedes GLA. That, yeah. It's, I just thought that was kind of funny. That It's not in there. It's the downloadable right, content right. associated with yeah. it. Now, if you have not seen... he, I had not seen the commercial for Mercedes yet. There's a Mercedes you commercial gotta in Japan. Go, you gotta go YouTube Stars Mario. I don't know how you've missed it by now, but go look it up yeah. on YouTube. It's absolutely it funny. hilarious. I, I, they, they, they did a, they did a good really, job. Really, it's, it's a perfect job. So I actually wanted to talk about that for just a minute. Uh, yeah, so I, I I sent I sent Stephen a message last night when he was a little bit, and um, he's nicely trying to say I was I was I was drunk. He was drunk. Yeah, uh, and, and actually one of our friends. Am I allowed to say last names at this point? No. No, just okay. give it a first name. One of our friends, Chris, had posted this on our Facebook page. I looked at this immediately, saw it, and decided that I wanted to do it. And I think you should. I and totally go ahead, should. tell them what it is. So it's this thing called Extra Life. It started six years ago now mm-hmm. um, for this young woman. And by the way, if you want it, it's extra-life.org. You should go check it out Put that right here. You, you need to go read up about this because I'm just going to paraphrase a few things. But this is about uh, this little girl, Victoria, who had cancer. And this is a way to raise... It was essentially a way to raise money by doing, like, a LAN party. Yeah. I mean, that's essentially what it was, right? And we've all done LAN parties. Absolutely. I mean, um, they, they've I, been doing this for yeah. Child's Play so, for the longest time as well with Desert Bus and you all know, that it's stuff. basically Fragfest for cause, if you will, right? Mm-hmm. So you... 
it, and and forget gaming for a minute. I'll explain it this way. If you've ever done like a walkathon, where that's exactly what this is, right? If you where you get people to sponsor a dollar a mile or or just here's fifty bucks or whatever, that's what this is. So Ashton's gonna go do this. I am I am going to game. So basically, what he's going to do is he's going to get people to sponsor him to game, and he's going to sit on his butt for eight hours, raise money for kids with cancer. I mean, that's essentially what you get to do. Is that not awesome? Eight hours? I think it's eight hours. He doesn't know. Or No, well, is it two days? Is this one two days? I'm going to no. game for 24 hours straight. Oh, oh, you're right. This is a 24-hour one. I'm, I'm going to My game bad. for 24 completely Ooh. uninterrupted hours. And I need everybody I know, it, basically the situation is you say how much you're willing to donate per completed hour right. that I do. And right. hopefully I won't pass out or die somewhere in this. Yeah. But on top of that, not only am I going to do the 24-hour marathon, I'm going to Twitch stream my entire gaming session. No matter what it is I play, it'll be on Xbox One. And I'm going to make sure that there is a camera or a Kinect set up in my house. And you can watch me and make sure that I'm doing it for the entire 24 hour run speaking of twitch speaking of twitch they got bought by google they did it's so, official now yeah. <clears throat> maybe their servers will work finally i'm actually happy about that because you know what's going to happen they're going to merge it into the live events and they're going to merge it into youtube right yeah. of, of, that's what i'm talking about i'm okay with that of youtube i think it's great i think it's awesome i think it'll get better exposure that way yes. personally yes it will so yeah we are going to be doing that stick around uh we'll have some more news for you yeah. check the facebook make sure to keep updated with us and we'll let you know exactly how i, I won't be down. doing that i'm i, I i'm I'll, it's okay. I'll donate some money yeah. to, to the cause <laughs> but i i i'm just not as much of a gamer i can't i can't do it hours I mean, back in the day, I used to do frag fest. Now I say back in the day, I'm talking when I would take my big rig, my big tall freaking mm -hmm. tower with my monitors and everything, and we would go out and we'd do frag fest, and you get t-shirts and have fun, and you do like 48 hours of game. I'm just gonna be locked in my room with like 20 energy drinks, yeah, trying not yeah. to to die or see purple. Oh. And the good thing about that is you're by yourself. The old frag fest land parties I used to, do, you're in there. It's like an armpit, cause and it's, it's gross. Yeah, <laughs> it's like walking into the Dragon Con tabletop room where nobody's bathed in three days. Yeah, they, they, that. Is smell exactly like old it, feet so. and bacon but i just want to mention that so stick around like you said we'll have news uh, on our facebook page and oh you didn't know we had a facebook page oh uh, duh it's facebook.com slash that stupid podcast do like us because you know we have a contest going on we do have still. a contest going on still and we're a little more than halfway there yeah, we're what, actually what, what, what do we gotta get like to for likes 500 500 likes 300 we're 300 and, 300. We're 300 so. and something um, so, I mean, we only need 200-ish more likes, yeah. and uh, we'll pick somebody out of the hat of all the and likes, you'll, you'll and you'll get a, you'll a free get CD. Biff Naked CD that we talked Boom. about on Friday last week. So, what's and going on tomorrow, though? What's We got something... Well, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to be here for tomorrow. So. Oh, yeah. oh, my gosh. Wildcard Wednesday, I may not be here. You may be all his tomorrow. So, I'll, oh let, you, I'll, let, you, I'll let you leave so it out. So, Wildcard Wednesday this week. E3, as you mentioned, is next week. Next week, but this week... WWDC is this week. And as the resident nerd with a MacBook Pro, he'll be giving you the, WW, the, the, the WWDC wrap-up. Yeah. So yesterday was the uh, keynote. So I'll be talking about some of the stories from the keynote and uh, also some stories from yesterday, from, well, from today, Absolutely. actually, while, while we're doing this. And you'll get a little bit of what I think is coming. Uh, we'll find out how many of the rumors that I called from WWDC Are actually going to be true. Correct, or how much, like, you know crow i have to eat tomorrow yeah, exactly <laughs> so, i'm not gonna be here for that. yeah so uh look forward to that and we will see you or well no i guess i'll see you tomorrow. he'll see you tomorrow i'm out